So this is how you record a techno or a trap beat. Here it is in the assignment sheet. You're going to see it's a very basic beat. There's a hi-hat, a snare drum, and a bass drum. Three different instruments. For each instrument, you're going to use a separate track. So let's take a look at what the hi-hat will do. The hi-hat is playing eighth notes. I want to show you where the beats are. So here's beat one for all of these tracks. And here's beat two for all of these tracks. And here's beat three. And here's beat four for all of these tracks. So we have beat one, two, three, and four. And they repeat, and it just repeats four times. So you can record for four measures, which is good practice to do, or you can record one measure and copy and paste. That's all good. So what we have here is our, excuse me, I should say our eighth notes. So this is the first note is on the beat. The second note is halfway between the beat. So we could count one and two and three and four and or I use the rhythm states you ta you ta you ta you ta so the you goes on the click and the ta is halfway between so let's take a look at what that's going to be like in Soundtrap so here's your Soundtrap file we're going to add a new track go to drum beats please and then you're going to leave it at the default setting of the vanilla machines if you like or choose a different instrument it's completely up to you since we're doing a trap beat or a techno beat you might want to go with something that is much more process sounding or sounds like an electronic drum kit it's absolutely your choice you can mix and match kits also if you like the sound of a hi-hat on one kit and the sound of a snare drum on another perfectly fine so what I've done, I have enlarged the screen, and I've done that so I can, you can see where the beats are. So it's a good idea to see where the beats are, so you can keep track of where the beats, that's all the beats there. And um, I've done that by going to uh, the grid here and selecting one quarter note. So I've got my grid going, and the next thing I did was I slowed down the click. You must slow down the metronome from 75, excuse me, from 120 to about 75, and confirm. So I'm going to put my cursor back at the beginning and I'm going to show you the instruments here for my computer keyboard. So the 8 and uh, U is what I'm going to use for my use is the closed hi-hat and once you start hitting something it'll start recording but the closed hi-hat is U and that's going to go on the beat and it's, it's the U for Utah so that's helpful. U and then 8 for ta is open. It's that open sound. Utah, 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 Utah. So let's uh, have a go at that and see what happens when I go to record. Utah, 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 Utah. Utah, 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 Utah. Done. Great. Now I know they were all eighth notes. So if I wanted to, I could go into the piano roll and edit them, which is I want to select them all, and that's a rubber band select. Or if I click, I can do Command A and it will select all. And then if I right click, I hit the control button here, or right click, you can quantize to the eighth note, and they're absolutely perfect and they'll be exactly lined up. And now don't forget to save. Record, save, quantize, save, edit, save.